Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going over quickly a new announcement from Langchain that came out a couple days ago. Lang LangServe is a new way to deploy our Langchain applications. And so essentially you can read the article yourself. I'll put it in the comments. Um, but basically what this library lets you do is add production ready API routes to your fast API server. So you can quickly iterate on API endpoints for your large language model applications. So let's get into it. The main things that you need to take away from this are honestly just kind of the setup. So here's their example of, you know, creating your own chain on your server in chain.py and then in your server file where you'll be running your fast API. The main thing you really need to worry about is this add routes function. So you can import your chain from your chain file above and then you simply just add routes to your app with chain and out of the box you get all of these endpoints supported and so i'm going to be showing you just a quick example with postman and a simple agent server that i have set up so first i'm going to go over the server and what i'm using so i'm using fast api i'm using agent executor chat open ai open ai embeddings etc cetera, etc cetera. You know the deal if you've been working with agents and embeddings for a bit. So right here is just a simple agent chat bot that has some information about me. I like coding, I like lifting weights, and I like making music. We are defining our tool with the tool decorator here. Definition at tool, get Merc thoughts, and we are returning the retriever as get relevant, get relevant documents query. And then we are initializing our tools. We have our prompt, your Merck's personal assistant, our large language model, chat open AI, and then large language model with tools, bind the functions format tool to open AI function, tool for tools. And then we have our agent here with the input and the agent scratch pad, of course. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, and then down here, add routes to the app, agent executor, Input type, I made input. Output type, I made type output. And I'm currently running the server. So I will show you what this looks like. It's running on localhost 8000. You can see I already said hi. So it's saying hello, how can I assist you today? If I can zoom that in a bit. I don't know if you guys can see that. What does Merck like to do? and it's sending the request. Merck likes to do various activities. Some of the things Merck likes to do include lifting weights, coding, and making EDM music. And another one, what is Merck's favorite activity for working out? Just an example. It's weightlifting, he enjoys challenging himself and building strength through lifting weights. And that's about it. So basically what you can do, I honestly should have put this agent stuff in another file, probably the chain file where I was working with this out of the box chain that you get uh, from initiating a LangServe project. Um, but I think this is pretty cool. I think it's a very cool way to add endpoints ad hoc and make it a bit more flexible while you're in the iterative process, but you still want to, you know, get test and feedback from other people and not just keep it to yourself. So, so you could imagine, you know, you have a chatbot for a website and you're trying to work on different functionalities for it and you don't want to worry about all of the API endpoint setup, you could just make your functions in different files, your, your different chains and your different agents for the chatbot, and then add them to the fast API routes, and then just call the invoke with the proper key that is expected. So for this, it was input. Um, but this could also be, you know, like topic, if that was topic. And that's, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. I just wanted to give a quick overview and make you all aware that LangServe exists and that you should all be trying it out. It is fresh out of the oven, so no better time than to get started right now. And now, if you think about it, we have LangServe for production-ready API endpoints, and we have LangSmith for observability and tracebacks for all the functions you're using. So I'm honestly pretty excited. I'm pretty happy with the entire ecosystem that LangChain's been building out. It's not even been a year. I think it'll be a year in November since they first started working on it. So pretty hyped for everybody in the community and the team. 
If you're interested in learning more, I will drop the GitHub repo for all of this in the description below as well as the blog and the Langchain documents. Um, but that's pretty much the video. I just wanted to make everybody aware and show you how to use these new fun tools that Langchain keeps pumping out. So hope everybody has a good rest of their week. And uh, yeah, there's no outro. So uh, goodbye.